What is ITIL? ITIL stands for Information Technology Infrastructure Library. It is a framework. It is one of the most preferred and utilized IT service management ITSM, framework. ITIL provides guidance to an organization and individuals to use IT as a service to empower business change, transformation and improvement. What is ITSM? ITSM stands for IT Service Management. It is the process of designing, delivering, managing, and improving the IT services an organization provides to its end users. ITSM is focused on aligning IT processes and services with business objectives to help an organization grow. What is SLA? SLA stands for Service Level Agreement. It is a contract between a service provider, either internal or external, and the end user that defines the level of service expected from the service provider. What are benefits of ITIL framework? Improved customer satisfaction and a higher quality of delivery of services. Improved return on investment, ROI, of IT. Improves the customer satisfaction. Implements best practices to enhance IT services. Reduced costs by implementing improved utilization of resources. It helps to boost the delivery services. Improves the relationship and interaction between the service providers and their customers. Boosts the coordination between the delivery of products and services, and also be able to optimize the total cost. Enables the business to manage business changes more efficiently. Leads to better asset utilization and management. It helps to measure the performance of IT services. Better management of business risk and service disruption. What are the main processes and service strategy in ITIL version 3? Strategy management for IT services. Service portfolio management. Financial management for IT services. Demand management. Business relationship management. What are the main processes in ITIL version 3 service design? Design coordination. Service catalog management. Service level management. Capacity management. Availability management. IT service continuity management. Information security management. Supplier management. Risk management. Compliance management. Architecture Management What are the main processes in ITIL version 3 service transition? Transition Planning and Support, Project Management Change Management Change of Valuation Service Asset and Configuration Management Release and Deployment Management Service Validation and Testing Knowledge Management what are the main processes in ITIL version 3 service operation? Event management. Incident management. Request fulfillment. Problem management. Access management. Service desk, function. Technical management, function. IT operations management, function. IT operations control, subfunction. Facilities Management, Subfunction Application Management, Function What are the main processes in ITIL version 3 Continual Service Improvement? Service Review Process Evaluation Definition of CSI Initiatives Monitoring of CSI Initiatives List the four P's of service design stage in ITIL version 3 people, products, partners, processes. What are the five ITIL service life cycles, ITIL version 3? 1. Service strategy. 2. Service design. 3. Service transition. 4. Service operation. 5. Continual service improvement. What are the key service value chain, VCS and ITIL version 4? 
Plan. Improve. Engage. Design and transition. Obtain, build. Deliver and support. What are the new four dimensions of service management in ITIL version 4? Organization and people. Value streams and processes. Partners and suppliers. Information and technology. What are the new 7 ITIL version 4 guiding principles? Focus on value. Start where you are. Progress iteratively with feedback. Collaborate and promote visibility. Think and work holistically. Keep it simple and practical. Optimize and automate. What are the new 34 practices in ITIL version 4? It is split into three management practices. General management practices. 1. Architecture management. 2. Continual improvement. 3. Information security management. 4. Knowledge management. 5. Measurement and reporting. 6. Organizational change management. 7. Portfolio management. 8. Project management. 9. Relationship management. 10. Risk management. 11. Service financial management. 12. Strategy management. 13. Supplier management. 14. Workforce and talent management. Service management practices. 15. Availability management. 16. Business analysis. 17. Capacity and performance management. 18. Change control. 19. Incident management. 20. IT asset management. 21. Monitoring and event management. 22. Problem management. 23. Release management. 24. Service catalog management. 25. Service configuration management. 26. Service continuity management. 27. Service design. 28. Service desk. 29. Service level management. 30. Service request management. 31. Service validation and testing. Technical management practices. 32. Deployment management. 33. Infrastructure and platform management. 34. Software development and management. Which processes are utilized by the service desk? Workflow and procedures diagrams. What are the ITIL modules adopted by an organization? The models are Microsoft MOF, Microsoft Operations Framework, Hewlett Packard, HP It's a Reference Model, IBM, IT Process Model. What is the ITIL SKMS? SKMS stands for Service Knowledge Management System in ITIL version 3, is the central repository of the data, information, and knowledge that the IT organization requires, to manage the life cycle of its services. The main purpose of ITIL SKMS is to store, analyze, and present the service provider's data, information, and knowledge in a structured manner. What is the ITIL Incident Management Process? The incident management process is one of the most important processes of the ITIL service operation stage of the ITIL life cycle. The incident management process is the process that deals with managing service problems that may cause a deficit in service quality and subsequently a drop in customer satisfaction. Can you explain an own error? An own error refers to an identified problem that has an acknowledged root cause and a solution. It consists of the following. Status. Error description. Root cause. Workaround. What are the seven R's of change management? 1. Who raised the change request? 2. What is the reason behind the change? 3. What return required from the change? 4. What risks involved in the requested change? 
5. How many resources required to deliver the change? 6. Who is responsible for the create, test and implement the change? 7. What is the relationship between suggested change and other changes? What are the workaround recovery options? Recovery options are commonly classified as Manual workaround Reciprocal arrangements Gradual recovery Intermediate recovery Fast recovery Immediate recovery Can you explain RACI model? RACI stands for the following. Responsible, responsibility assigned to a particular person that complete the task. Accountable, person held accountable for the given task. Consulted, people or groups who are consulted for the task. Informed, people who are kept informed about the progress of the ongoing task. What is PDCA? PDCA stands for Plan to Check Act. It is also called Deming's cycle or Schuhart cycle. The PDCA cycle is used in many industries and areas in business for controlling and measuring results and then acting based on the results to produce a better output in later steps or trials. Plan, planning the improvements. Measures for success are agreed. Gap analysis is undertaken and a plan produced to close the gap through a series of step improvements. Do, implementation of improvements. A project is instigated and conducted to implementation to close the gaps identified in the plan phase. The project may include a number of step changes to improve a service or process. Check, monitoring, measuring, and reviewing. The results of the implemented improvements are compared with the measures for success identified and ratified in the plan phase. Act, improvements implemented. The improvements that have been identified are fully implemented. What is the CAB? CAB is a cross-functional group set up to evaluate change requests for business need, priority, cost, benefit, and potential impacts to other systems or processes. Typically, the CAB makes recommendations for implementation, further analysis, deferment, or cancellation. What's the difference between an end user and a customer? An end user, or end customer is the direct recipient of the service, or uses the product. A customer may or may not be able to choose between different products or suppliers. An example of the latter would be things like court-appointed attorneys, or a monopoly situation such as an internet or cable provider. Can you define freeze period? Freeze period, it is a point in time in the development process after which the rules for making changes to the source code or related resources become stricter or the period during which those rules are applied. Can you explain ISO IEC 27002? ISO IEC 27002 to 2013 is a code of practice that gives guidelines for organizational information security standards and information security management practices. This code includes the selection, implementation, and management of controls while taking into consideration an organization's information security risk environment. The code recommends information security controls that address information security control objectives that come from risks to the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of information. Can you explain balanced scorecard? A balanced scorecard is a strategic planning and management system that is used extensively in business, government, and non-profit organizations worldwide to align business activities to the vision and strategy of an organization, improve internal and external communications, and monitor the organization's performance against its strategic goal. Can you define a service portfolio, b. service catalogs, and c. service pipeline? a. service portfolio. It defines services provided by service providers across the market and all customers. The objective of ITIL service portfolio management is to manage the service portfolio. Service portfolio management ensures that the service provider has the right mix of services to meet the required business outcomes at an appropriate level of investment. B. Service catalog. It is a subset of service portfolio. Services ready to be offered to customers are listed in this catalog. 
An IT service catalog is a list of available technology resources and offerings within an organization. C. Service Pipeline, it consists of services under development. It is a great opportunity to view the direction of a service provider's growth as it discusses and includes the future services that are currently under development by the service provider. What are the different types of SLAs? Customer-based SLA, it is used for individual customers and comprises all relevant services that a client may need, while leveraging only one contract. It contains details regarding the type and quality of service that has been agreed upon. Service-based SLA, it is a contract that includes one identical type of service for all of its customers. Because the service is limited to one unchanging standard, it is more straightforward and convenient for vendors. Multi-level SLA, it is customized according to the needs of the end-user company. It allows the user to integrate several conditions into the same system to create a more suitable service. Which ITIL process should ensure that the organization is aware of new and changing technologies? Capacity management is responsible for ensuring that the organization is aware of new and changing technologies. It is the discipline that checks and verifies that IT infrastructure is provided at the right time and the right volume at the right price with the utmost efficiency. What are the key components of a service level agreement? The type of service. The required performance levels. Monitoring and reporting. Complaints processes. Issue resolution process. Repercussions for poor service. What is OLA? OLA stands for Operational Level Agreement. This is the agreement between functional groups or teams within an organization. This agreement supports the delivery of the overall SLA to the customer. What is DML? DML stands for Definitive Media Library. It is a secure location where the definitive, authorized versions of software package configuration items SIS, are stored and kept safe. A DML is made up of one or more software libraries or file storage areas known as repositories. What is PIR? PIR stands for Post Implementation. Review refers to the evaluation and analysis of the entire working process and solution. It is usually performed after the change request is put into effect to determine if the change and its implementation were successful. What is Availability Management? AM ensures that IT services meet agreed availability goals. It also ensures new or changed service meet availability goals and doesn't affect the existing services. What type of information is stored in a CMDB? CMDB contains contents that are intended to hold a collection of IT assets commonly referred to as configuration items, as well as descriptive relationships between such assets. What is difference between expedited, urgent change and emergency change? NITIL emergency change is the highest priority change that can be defined in an organization. An expedited change is a change that meets a critical business requirement without the normal review and approval time. Which two service management processes will most likely use risk analysis and management methodology? Availability Management and IT Service Continuity Management What is Knowledge Management? Knowledge Management is a discipline that promotes an integrated approach to identifying, capturing, evaluating, retrieving, and sharing all of an enterprise's information assets. These assets may include databases, documents, policies, procedures, and previously uncaptured expertise and experience in individual workers. What are the benefits of ITIL knowledge management? Increase business volume without hiring more employees. Increase quality of service. Reduce loss of intellectual capital when employees change. Avoid redundancies in problem solving by democratizing information. Minimize frequency and impact of legal or regulatory action. Reduce time to market. Enable employee development and increase worker satisfaction. Avoid redundancies in problem solving by democratizing information.
increased worker productivity with more available knowledge. What are the stages of knowledge management? Data Knowledge Information Wisdom What are the different knowledge management systems? CMIS, Capacity Management Information System SKMS, Service Knowledge Management System AMIS, Availability Management Information System CMDB, Configuration Management Database DML, Definitive Media Library KEDB, Known Error Database Can you explain change management? Change management process has five sequential activities which can be mentioned as registration and categorization, risk and impact analysis, approval, coordinate change build and test, authorize change deployment and finally review and close change record. Can you explain change evaluation? Change evaluation process has three sequential activities which can be mentioned as plan evaluation, evaluation of predicted performance, and finally evaluating actual performance. Like share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.